fans, welcome back to another great hour of Mountain State Wrestling. Jonathan Styles, joined by the rock star outlaw Stephen Hensley. And I love rock star, thank you. Whatever. You don't want to miss October coming up. Scream Fest 3. It's going to be historic, and you're going to want to be there. Check MountainStateWrestling.com to keep up with all the details. But today we've got a big double main event for you. It's going to be the legit hit Brian Kyle taking on the Bandit, as well as Dwayne Tinney going up against Dynamite Derek Billings. This is Commissioner Larry Light. If your club, or your school, or your civic organization would like to have the great stars of NWA Mountain State Wrestling come to your town, you give us a call at area code 304-673-2054 or check us out on the web at mountainstatewrestling.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Now let's go to the backstage area and get comments from the maestro and God's gift to professional wrestling, Jason the Gift Kincaid. Jason the Gift Kincaid, congratulations. You got one up on me. The Gift Raj is running a rough shot once again in the NWA Mountain State. You guys made a pact. You worked together cohesively as a unit. I respect that. I do very much. You know, I, I've been part of factions before. I've had friends I've helped out. You know, that's, that's all fine and good. But now, it's you and me. Juan Umano, one on one. Jason, this isn't the first time we've wrestled each other one on one. We've had some classics, we've had some battles. You've darn near kicked my head off. But my friend, tonight's tonight. This Drozilla's gonna bring fire. It's gonna be all over you like white on rice, boy. So you bring the gift to Raj, you bring whatever you got. Because now Bulldozer, not the gift to Raj. That's going to stop the people's champion from getting the payback and the receipt. Bring it. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. Maestro. The maestro of professional wrestling. Well, I showed you how I can conduct my own orchestra. You know what? And it's going to happen again. But this time, it's going to happen for the title. Because that title... The NWA Mountain State Heavyweight Championship, that is my birthright. I, by right of birth, own that title. I am the best wrestler in West Virginia. I am the best wrestler in West Virginia's history. And tonight, I'm going to prove it. Now let's go to the ring for our opening contest. There you see him, God's gift to professional wrestling, Jason the Gift Kincaid. Well, I definitely agree with you there. Steve, he definitely has earned his place in Mountain State Wrestling and other federations. And so is this man! Is that a young Robbie Eagle? No, it's an old Robbie Eagle. Oh! Is a no, I remember as a child, I saw a Robbie Eagle, uh, the maestro of the show, as you know him. Wrestling, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, and a brilliant series of matches going up against the likes of Chris Candino feuding over that television title. I don't know if you can remember that far back. I can. I know I you only have so many brain cells left. That's it's okay. If I were you, I'd spend most of my time hitting my head against the wall, too. Yeah, I hit my head against the wall because I'm out here with you every Sunday morning. I know. But, it's hard but, to compete with me. But as far as it goes, I do got to give credit where credit is due. And the history that this man has had in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, in Japan, in Mexico, everywhere. Maybe the match was against Steve. Can you imagine being a young man staring across the ring, your first professional match in the big leagues? You're looking across the ring at Sting? Yeah. So, Good Lord. I mean, the fact that you can make it up to a point where you can wrestle that man, let alone compete with him, that's a testament to the Stroh's abilities. Which is why he's also our heavyweight champion. Let's go to the ring. That's why he's in a position to pretend that he deserves that heavyweight title. He's not the heavyweight champ, though. But still, long lineage behind the Stroh and a victory over him, that's still a feather in your cap. Jason, 
2009 Wrestler of the Year, the Maestro. Style. What? I think the stir just winked at you. Ooh la la! They're kind of like that. Uh, yeah. What? They yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'm talking to legit hit Brian Kyle. Nobody important. I'm not sure. All right. Because you don't get us in the winner's circle very often. Let's go, and the gift. Early advance forces the stir back into the corner from that collar and elbow tie up. Gives him a nice shove to the chest to let him know where he's at, who he's in the ring against. And I, and I tell you, you talk about history, Steve. These two men had a great history for over a year. Two wow. former heavyweight champions there. And now you got... Jason the Gift coming out of the corner, back to the collar and elbow tie-up. And, and Jason the Gift Kincaid also losing the heavyweight championship under what would some would call, like you, suspect circumstances that the referee was knocked out, Princeton, West Virginia. I was there, two out of three falls, where the maestro regained the heavyweight title from Jason the Gift Kincaid. And the stir going down to the mat, grabs hold of the arm, has the gift space firmly planted in his heels as he pulls him down to the canvas, positioning over top of the shoulders now, pushing back while holding on to the arms. This is a submission slash a pinball maneuver attempt here by the show on look, Jason the Gift Kincaid. And look who's joining us right now, Steve Hensley, the number one contender for the heavyweight title, the Bulldozer. That's the most destructive force in professional know. wrestling today. Hey, give, man give me for a title shot. Shot. Here, You get out of here. You take a break. I'm going to go sit here with my buddy, and we're going to call this fantastic match right here. Well, I'm glad to see you got rid of the trash for me. So oh, I you're welcome. That. Anytime. Every time I listen to NWA Mountain State Television and I hear this piece of garbage right here talk, it makes me sick. I get so bored hearing him, it makes me fall asleep. But you, my friend, you are the whole show, and I'm here to commentate with the best. And, sir, I've got to say, I can't wait to see you run rough shot over this sham of a pretend heavyweight champion here, the Maestro. I can't wait to see you take him apart. Oh, it's going to be pleasant. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a masterpiece. You see, I ain't no artist or anything, but one thing I do know how to do is destroy people. And what you see, what it's going to happen here in a few weeks, whatever that match may be, the show will realize why well, I am the future of this business. And he's nothing but an old has been. Well, a lot of people would say that the atomic bomb doesn't leave a pretty sight, but you can't argue the effectiveness of a destructive force of nature like the atomic bomb and a destructive force of professional wrestling like the bulldozer. And you see in the ring here the Stro with the gift on his shoulders, putting him up on the top rope, taking a hot shot at the gift, the gift taking exception to that. Giving the Stro a little receipt there with a slap to the jaw. I bet you'd love to give him a slap to the jaw too, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, definitely. I'd love to do more than slap to the jaw. I like to knock his teeth down, stroke. <laughs> I'd like to see that too. I bet Mama Dozer would like to see oh, that. Oh, yes, too. Mama Dozer would be proud. The gift with the nice European uppercut to the Stro. Oh! See, one thing I always like Jason Kincaid. I remember when I first got into business, I started watching him on television. He's one reason why I got into this. Oh! Oh, oh no, see, that was a call. Now see, that was a call for him. Oh! Really the back suplex by the throw there. Come on, Jason, kick out. Yes! All right. Jason Gift thankfully kicks out of that. And, he can, and the Maestro right back to a rear waist lock. Rolling the gift over to a pinfall attempt there. Come on, gift! Come on, gift! No avail there, though. <sighs> Stroh going back to that pinfall attempt there, holding on to that rear waist block. But the gift, using his momentum, rolls back over. And he's in a sitting position now, trying to make his way to a vertical base. Starting that process, getting up to a knee, holding on to the wrist of the Stroh for position. The Stroh holding on to the gift, though. Looks like he's going for a wrestling ball kick there. Oh, that was a cool. Had to fight for that one, but can't argue the effectiveness of it, unfortunately. Come on, Jason, kick out. Ah. Nice kick out there by the gift. I'm sure what you're looking for in this match right now, you're measuring the throw, trying to see where his weaknesses are. I know that you're not very concerned with how you hurt him because you know you can, but you're looking for a particular point of attack, I imagine. Yes. It's, man, you know, I hate the one thing I hate about this place, about NWA Mount State, is that fan that runs her mouth all the time. She, she, belongs, she belongs in a zoo, man. You know, every time I go to a show, she's always there wrapping her mouth. She needs to go back to the zoo. I didn't know she was a fan. I thought she was a homeless mutt 
granny off the street the way that she just yells and barks. Are you I can't even make it. Hey, 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 I told you to get out of here. Get down, shut up. Go, go. So, going back to that arm bar lock there. Eugene Slick's hold on to momentum, but you see the veteran instincts uh, chasing the gift Kincaid, going under the ropes, bringing up that submission maneuver. Oh. Great binds leg of the stroke, and now the gift has a submission maneuver of its own locked in there. Five minutes have gone by in this match, my friend. Now, to answer your question, I've studied taints in the stroke. One reason why I came to NWA Mountain State was because I wanted to take out the stroke for good. For years, I've heard about this man. What, what, what promotion was he in? Uh, WCW, Smoky Mountain Wrestling. What's WCW? World Championship Wrestling. I have never, I've never heard of him, but let me tell you something right now. See, what the maestro ha doesn't have that I have is agility and size and power for the big man. See, I am the best big man in West Virginia, no, bar none. There. You see, what I see right here is I see the Stroll get his butt whipped by the future of this business, I like myself. You see, Jason K is the future of this business. The gift garage is the future of this business. The bulldozer is the future of this business. And no one can stop us. You have a hard time saying anything about the truth, don't you? Inverted atomic drop there by the Stroll and the gift. Oh! Maybe he's singing soprano. But he's not out this one. Super kick for the chin, though. One. Hey, Ralph, he grabbed the tights. He pulled the tights. I saw it. You know, I thought I saw that, too. Sweeps the leg of the gift out from under him. Oh. Now the stroke, great finding that leg. Pulling back by the ankle there, positioning his knee directly over the tip of the toe and pointing in the opposite direction of the rest of the leg. And this could be a great strategy on the part of the stroke. I don't like to admit it, but he does have the brain of a wrestler on occasion. Take the ankle away from the gift. It's not going to be able to jump around that ring and make no. use of the speed and agility he's so well known for. No, he won't. But the gift, this is something we don't talk about a whole lot because we're used to talking about the aerial maneuvers. But the gift has a fantastic base knowledge of mat wrestling. Yes, he does. Has the legs locked up, has the head of the maestro locked up, pulling on the hair there. It's a little bit of 50-50 there I don't, I don't, an injury. I don't see no player pulling by the gift. I just see him grabbing, I just see the leg vine, that's all I see. I'm mistaken, he was grabbing onto the sagging wrinkles of the Maestro's forehead. Oh, sorry. Come on! Nice cobra clutch here by the Stroh. Relieving the whole league though, goes for a single leg takedown. Back up to your vertical base. Come on! And it looks like he may be going for some kind of a modified oh. Indian deathlock style maneuver. I've seen this hold. I've seen Chief J. Strongbow use it back in the day. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous hold. But I think the I think the gift will be able to get out of it real easily. Oh, come on, gift! Ah! Uh. Even if he can't get it out of it easy, the one thing he can count on is he'll find a way out. Yes. They don't call him God's gift to professional wrestling for that no reason. That is true. That is very Just true. Just like we don't call you the most destructive force in Mountain State wrestling today for no reason. That's right. That's right. I like to see somebody try to take that name away from Harry. Nobody in NWA Mountain State that can. You know, I think I heard Jonathan Stiles say earlier that he could. He said something about he could get you on your back for 50 bucks and a steak dinner, I believe. When I'm through with, when I'm through with Jonathan Stiles, he ain't going to be nothing but my girlfriend. It's kind of like picking up a little bonus meat from Applebee's, dipping it in some southern barbecue sauce and eating it, isn't yes. it, big man? Have you ever tried their, meat, their uh, meatballs with the cherry cheese inside of yet? That is this very is good. Filled with cheese. Hey, just I like told you guys. Balls, but you see the gift there. Shoot. Fantastic submission Shoot. maneuver there, cutting off the flow of oxygen on the brain of the stroke. And I thank you for swallowing the Jonathan Stiles so we can go back to focusing on the match. Yes. He likes to be distracting, doesn't he? Stroh potentially getting a pinfall attempt out oh. of this. The gift kicking out. Stroh with a headbutt to the chest. Gift continues to kick out though. Stroh back to the headbutt. Kick out by the gift. It's a good series of wear down strikes though on the power of the stroke. Forcing the gift to continue to kick out of these pinfall attempts. But he's firing away with that thick crow magnum like skull of this to the solar plexus of the gift. Oh! Trying to destroy some of the strength in the core of Jason the Gift Kincaid. Also a smart maneuver. As you know, the core of the body supports everything else. Yes. You're only as strong as your core. The stroke trying to chop him down. Come on, Jason! Does knife it. Yes! Nice jawbreaker by the gift. Gift signaling, it's over. Pulls the stroke back up to his feet. It looks to be going to run off the ropes. What's this guy what, doing? Who is that? Who is that? What are you that? doing, What's Steve Austin doing? No! Come on! And the stroke. Come on! Kick out, Jason! Come on! Oh ah. my god! Who was that? 